Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to WorldTVOnDemand.com. Today we're going to be installing this four channel, four camera <coughs> surveillance system. So anyway, let's check it out and see what comes in the box and let's uh, install it. And we're going to talk about all the pieces and parts. So let's get started. This is Harold and welcome to WorldTVOnDemand.com. Hey, today we're going to talk about security cameras. Now, a bunch of years ago, I bought these video cameras at the office supply store for around 60, well, they're around 75 bucks with tax. The new one that I bought, WiseNet, and they're going to try to get you to get off-site recording with their company with a monthly fee and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that, but that is an option. It comes with this DVR right here. Well, it's an NVR security system. So it will record, uh, and it has uh, 2 megapixels, 1920 by 1080 picture, full HD picture. So this is the one I'm going to put in now and I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to check out all the pieces and parts. So you will receive this quick start guide book that comes with your equipment. So I would recommend that you just go through and flip through the pages and get familiar with it before you get started. And then your device comes with a mouse, a remote control, a power supply, a cable to hook it to your internet box your, for your router, a HDMI cable to connect it to a TV or a monitor, and then over here in the chair, let me move the camera, <coughs> you get your four cameras, these are nice cameras too, very nice cameras. It has a Wi-Fi antenna on it, and it has where you plug in for the power. And it also comes with extremely long cables if you don't have power where you need it. But you can just reach out and find the power wherever you need it. So first thing I'm going to do is read some more on this book, but it says mount the cameras where you want to mount them first and get them all plugged into power. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now this is the unit here, the DVR, that records everything. It's pretty simple to use. When you plug everything in, it'll find the cameras and bring them up on your monitor or TV screen. Also, for the app, there's a barcode here that you have to scan as you go through the process, and I will show you that in a little bit. But the only thing you've got to do to hook this up <coughs> is the HDMI cable to your TV or monitor, uh, your Ethernet cable to your router, and uh, the power supply. And it'll come on and start doing its thing. Now, it comes with a mouse that I showed you earlier, but I used a wireless mouse and plugged the dongle in right here in the front. I'll probably change that to the back so I can use the front for something else. And then... Uh, it, it, it connects to the cameras on its own and starts doing its thing, so but we'll look at that uh, in a little bit. But let's go find out where we're going to put this last camera. I put the camera over here. I got to run the wire up through here and plug it in over here. And then you'll see one side or the other. I'm going to have the picture show up that shows it come online. It'll come online. So let's do that. It's real simple. Just the drill the two holes, put the or three holes, put the screws in there. Put it in the direction that you think you want it. Because you're gonna have to do some final adjusting once you get it all hooked up. So I'm gonna move my ladder and go ahead and hook the power up. That's just the right length. It's just the right length. And now I'm just going to plug it in. Plug in the power right here. Plug it in. Yeah. 
So now this is a little better view. I took a snapshot with my phone of the monitor and that's a couple of other things we're going to talk about real quick and then I'll be done with this video. But we want to talk about the phone app right now and the monitor situation. Okay, now the last thing you want to know about is the app for the for the phone. And let me just go here to my app. I was working on a cast thing to be able to cast my phone to the computer but I haven't found a free one yet all of them are pay so if you know of an app that you can download to your phone that you can mirror cast your phone to the computer if you send that to me in the description below I appreciate it but let me see here let me get uh, first off <clears throat> first off on your phone go to the Play Store go to the Play Store now you would think because it says WiseNet on the box. WiseNet. WiseNet. You would think that they would have their own app and that that's what it would be, WiseNet. But that's not what it is. Like I said in the very beginning, read all the instructions because in fine print in the description it's going to tell you to type in um, let's see what was it let's see wise view wise view so type in wise view hit the top one up there with that little icon it's going to come up it's going to say, mine's going to say uninstall and open, but yours is going to say install. So you just want to install it, okay? Install that app. And then when you do that, it's going to ask you to scan your barcode. So then you're going to take your phone, and this is not the barcode. This is not the one. This is just an example. But you're going to scan your barcode on your DVR. It's going to be right on the corner in the back. There's going to be a barcode and you're going to scan it. And once you do that, it's going to ask you for the password because I'm not going to show you my passwords and all that stuff. But when you first plug it in, it's going to ask you to make a password. And it has to be numbers and a letter and a character. So you have to do all that. So once you get it installed on your on your phone, you're going to have this little icon here is going to come up. A little icon. It's going to click on it. And it's going to do that. And it's going to go around in a circle and it's going to bring up your cameras just like that. And that's pretty good. I had a snapshot last night for the night camera and it's pretty good. It's in black and white, but it does have a real good picture. So and that's how you do it. So you guys have a great day. I'll have another video for you soon. This is Harold signing off, baby. See you later.